In our user study, we asked 10 Android and iPhone users to do a few simple text editing tasks. Here is one example trying to remove an extra space from a sentence. The subject needed five attempts to complete this task. This is partially due to occlusion, but there is also an accidental menu pop-up and an accidental handle drag. The problem is that three distinct outcomes are tied to the same tap event. It's far too easy for the system to misunderstand the user's intent. This leads to the errors shown here. All of our test subjects restricted themselves to simple, short text input bursts, avoiding substantial text creation. Every subject also said they preferred to delete and retype rather than to even attempt text editing. This project, Eloquent, aims to improve text editing with a mobile-first approach and improve character targeting, text selection, and menu actions. Today, the cursor handle only appears for a few seconds, then vanishes. To improve targeting, Eloquent makes dragging the cursor a first-class action by making two changes. The first is to make the text handle permanently visible. The second is snapping the cursor handle to the user's finger position no matter where they tap and drag. These two changes unify tapping and dragging into a more unambiguous action. In a sense, every action starts as a potential drag. A tap is just a very short drag. Today, mobile OSs use an offset magnifier for text editing. This can be visually confusing as users have two separate cursors visible at once. Eloquent unifies the magnifier and text cursor into a single visible object. This allows the user to see where they are targeting while maintaining their orientation in the text field. The goal is to unify the cursor and magnifier behaviors to simplify user targeting. Our initial user studies are promising, but stricter user testing verification is required. This new dragging behavior doesn't affect today's existing tap behavior or vertical scrolling. This should minimize impact on existing users. Today, mobile users select text either by a double tap or a long press. With Eloquent using a draggable cursor, double tapping is no longer practical. Instead, while dragging the cursor, Eloquent waits until the user pauses and then looks for a harder press on the screen. This drag press event starts a selection. Here again with an example selecting the word editing. Drag the cursor to the word, press harder, which then selects the word, and then drag to extend the selection. Today's existing pop-up menu has two challenges. It's usually hierarchical, which creates discovery issues, and it has no accelerators, such as Command V or C for copy and paste. The eloquent menu is non-hierarchical, placing the most used clipboard commands on the left and the less common commands scrolling off to the right. Our test subjects, without any prompting, quickly grasped this and were able to scroll the menu in to see additional items. Eloquent also builds on top of this drag press gesture to lead directly into menu actions. For example, dragging the cursor up to the word distracting and drag press to make a selection. Now to invoke the menu, drag press again. The finger remains down on the display. Note the small blue cursor that responds to dragging. To select cut, drag the finger up. The command is highlighted and triggered when the finger is lifted. Again for paste, select text and then drag press to make the menu appear. Highlight the paste command and release. This approach accomplishes the entire editing task of targeting, selection, and taking an action in a single gesture without having to lift the finger. As the user repeats these actions, they will naturally complete them faster and faster until just a quick flick gesture is recognized. By having this new intermediate mode, users gradually get used to flicking towards the four directional commands while still showing the menu for guidance. Inspired by marking menus, we aimed for a gradual transition from novice to expert usage with the goal of advanced users completing tasks much faster. Using these improvements in targeting, selecting, and menus, it's now possible for the user to act on text with a single continual fluid motion.